This is your favourite regular razor blade uploader. Today, I'm going to show you how to boot a cloned image of your internal hard drive to an external USB. If you have got a volume on your external drive, to delete it, click on the drive and you say delete volume. It's going to destroy all your data, but it has to be like this. Create a new simple volume. It has to be a hundred meg. Don't assign it a drive letter. You must format it as FAT32. I'm going to call it UFI USB. We've got a 100 megabyte FAT32. And what that's going to do is it's going to create all the files that we need from this drive volume here on your internal drive and copy them to our UFI USB volume with additional files to say this is a USB drive, not a VME. This is going to be my operating system, create a new simple volume again. So give it a drive letter. I'm going to give it Y for now. Location size 64K. You can leave as default. And I'm going to call this Blade USB. Get the software to actually do the work. So load up your favourite browser. Just type in Win to USB. EasyUFI.com. Download. It's free. Run it. Close your browser down. Choose your language. Accept the agreement. Read it if you've got time. Choose where you want to put it. So I've already got a folder because I've done it before. Next, create a desktop shortcut if you want. I prefer it. Install. Finish. Point you to web pages here to show you how to do things, but you don't need that. Just close that. Load the software. It's gone and check for an update, and it says you've already got the latest version. You're using a Windows CD image. This is actually saying I want to use a CD, and this is saying you want to use a hard drive. And this is our internal drive. There's your UFI partition, FAT32. That's the reason why we had to do FAT32. Boot partition where our C drive operating system is. And it's telling you the BIOS mode is UEFI. Next. Now it's saying where do you want to put the clone? It's my Western Digital My Passport 512 gig SSD. There's the two partitions. So it's saying where do you want the EFI? You want to stick it there. Where do you want to put the boot operating system? Stick in that second partition. Next. Now it's just going to build a Windows PE. And for those who are paying attention on previous videos, that stands for Windows Personal Edition. It's warning that you are going to destroy all the data. Are you sure about that? And a reboot is required. Are you sure to? And obviously once you start rebooting, it's actually going to start erasing your data. So if you really want to do it, say yes. And there you go. Now the speed will depend on how fast your external drive is. Now what it's doing is it's not copying the blocks. It's kind of copying data. Okay, so once it's finished doing the image, because it takes a long time, it shuts the machine down so you could like leave it for hours and at least you know it's going to be powered down, it's finished. And what we need to do is actually tell it to boot from the external hard drive for the first time, just so it knows it exists. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So just turn it on. So just keep pressing F12. Just go into boot menu. Select your external device, which for me is my Western Digital Passport device. Now, before you do anything to your internal drive, please look at my backup video showing you how to back up your images because you really need to make sure you've got a backup of all the images. What I'm going to do is prove to you that this works. So I'm going to change the backdrop colors. Okay, so that looks particularly changed to me, yeah? Windows, once it's booted up, will run fairly okay with external drive, even a USB spinning disk. So let's go and shut the machine down. Pull out my drive. Turn it back on. 
There you go. So that's now the internal drive. I think that proves the point. Thank you all for watching. Any questions? Give us a shout. Bye for now.